Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a rain overlay to a photo. My name is Ivana and this is my photo. I took it in uh, United Kingdom and it was um, raining a little. Actually not at the moment that we were shooting, just a minute before. Uh, so their umbrella is all wet and you can see the paddles on the ground and to add more atmosphere I would like to add a rain overlay and good news because I uh, prepared those rain overlays for you so you can download them there's a link in the description and I will tell you everything about it in the end of this video uh, but um, right now I want to show you how to adjust this overlay how to make it look really natural so let's start with our overlay I'm gonna go to my finder and those are my rain overlays and then we're gonna choose this one here and I'm just gonna grab it and drag it and let go on the image so that should be added as a um, smart object we can extend and accept so this looks all good um, let's just change the blending mode from normal to screen I think I would like to have it reverse so um, kind of flipped so this side with the more dense rain is on uh, on this side so you can go and press command T or control T on your keyboard or just go to edit transform and flip see now it's flipped so this more dense rain is on this side and this like lighter type of rain is on this side so it's um, it's very heavy it looks um, a little too heavy for the image so one thing that it's always recommended to change the, the opacity of the layer a little um, the other thing you could do and this this uh, will definitely work better with uh, when I'm showing you how to add snow but in this case also if you go and check any of your photos where you um, had actually rain on it you will see that the rain was easily visible on dark areas and it was not so much visible on bright areas so it really actually means that the the white color that was on the rain like the whitish type of color what was on the rain would not be whiter or brighter than the color that was um, on other things in the photo and for that I actually use blending modes um, excuse me I use um, blendiv so I click twice on the layer and that that takes me to layer style and here I've got those um, those sliders and it says blend if so it says blend it this layer if the underlying layer so my background layer is either bright or dark in this case let me just I always test it so I just move this around and see what happens so see when I take those down it's starting to dis disappear from those brighter parts of the photo and if I move this down it starts to disappearing from the darker parts of my background image to introduce a little bit of feathering to it so it so it doesn't disappear so rapidly from those areas uh, you need to separate that arrow into two parts and you do that with clicking option or alt on your keyboard and just take it down and you can let go of the alt key you don't need to, to hold the alt key all the time or option key and then you can move one of them down and you can then move the other one so right now they are disappearing in a very very uh, smooth and gentle way so in this case it's a little visible but it's mostly I usually use it more for um, snow overlays let's add another way to blend it in is to add a layer mask and then just remove the sun of the rain 
from uh, from like the bottom of the image from if, if it was very close to you it probably the, the rain was not so much visible because there was not a lot of rain between you and this wall it was much more of the rain between you and the far background so let's make our brush bigger I'm using brackets for that and then we've got black chosen as our color Let's make sure that the, the brush's hardness is to zero because we need a very soft brush. And we've got a flow and opacity. And I do not recommend having both of them on 100. I really um, recommend seeing my video on flow and opacity. And I think I can, I can link this down here. Just go to flow to select. 15 or 16 and then we can just gently brush out some of the rain from some parts Oops. and we are almost done the one th one thing that I'm thinking of that the light here on this photo was coming from this area and it was just because there was a car that was creating this highlight here and this light is very very warm and naturally the rain here in this area would also turn a little bit orange because of the light so let's just go to this um, layer so do not click on the layer mask just go on the layer and then I will go to camera camera raw for that. I think I'm used to using sliders in uh, in Lightroom. That's why camera raw is more um, it's easier for me to use. And then we just we'll just draw a, a nice big radial filter. It was already added what I wanted because um, I, I did that before. But if you have all the all the sliders to zero. What I want you to do is just move this slider up so that will colorize this part of the photo with a little bit of a warmer color. Uh, so that would just reflect the light that was um, in the photo. And then just go down here and when it says feather, uh, make sure that the feather is not zero because that the line would be very harsh. We need this to be very, very soft. And also make sure that you don't have outside click, you have inside clicked. And then click OK. And that a little bit of that rain should be right now colorized with, uh, you can see that here, with the warmer color of the light. So that's a lot, but you don't need to use all, the, all those three tricks at, the, um, at one image, like whatever works for you uh, in your particular case. Those are all the things that actually I would do to a um, to an overlay, but not all at the same time. Maybe sometimes all at the same time, but it doesn't have to be like all the things that are not necessary to do. Uh, but I, I think that basically covers all the things that I would do to an overlay to make it look more natural. There will be more videos with how to add different type of types of overlays. And also just go to my website and there is a link in the description of the video and that will take you to my website. Do with me. Okay. Ivanapodlasinska.com and um, in the future, because I'm just this is the first video I'm, I'm uploading, there will be a um, another um, here another page with the with the overlays. Change the language here to English, and um, then we will tutorials, and they will see um, editing resources, and those will be uh, the overlays that I'm talking about. And also, you have the, um, the big selection of um of videos where i show you how to, how i edited full photos full images um, see me 
editing those from a raw file to a ready image uh, with the use of without any use of so without the use of actions or presets or any other things that you can't find like plugins that are not free so all hand uh, editing from me from a raw file to a ready image buy those as video or single videos or as um, collections uh, of videos so I hope to see you on my website and if you have any questions or requests just comment below the video thank you so much for watching